So here's the scenario. Jim the botanist is out in the jungle working on a project. For the sake of brevity, his primary objective is to research exotic flowers. Whatever he's doing there, Jim's having a blast. He's in the wild, looking at plants, really living up to his full potential. Well, Jim's day is about to be ruined. While he was out admiring the jungle, out of carelessness or by some inexplicable reason, one of Jim's flares goes off and lights some dry shrub on fire. In minutes, the entire area behind Jim is engulfed in flames, and Jim is in panic. On top of that, as some cruel joke to a situation, out of nowhere, the ground begins to form spikes. What will Jim do? Well, Jim starts to think and puts his botany degree to use. He remembers that many of the surrounding trees have vines on them and are in fact strong enough to support his weight as he tested some days earlier. He develops an idea. What if he uses the ropes to swing to safety and avoid the fire as well as the spikes? So Jim starts his journey to the edge of the jungle by jumping from rope to rope. The only issue is, Jim is utterly and hopelessly lost. The smoke must have got to him. He will never find his way out of this jungle and is doomed to swing on ropes forever. I hope you enjoyed that little intro I created as a form of teaser for this devlog. And with that said, welcome to my channel. To kick things off, I'd like to start with a rough concept of the game. The primary mechanic will be the rope swinging, as described in the intro, and the game will be in the endless runner genre, so no matter how many dro ropes you jump, there's always going to be more ropes waiting for you. I'll be using Unity to create this game, and most likely Krita for art, and who knows what for music. The reason for me to work on this project mainly is to build experience on working with Unity, and to actually create some games along the way. I'm documenting my progress on YouTube just for some extra motivation to keep on pushing. The first thing I'd like to implement for this game is the, drum roll, rope swinging. When I first sat down to work on this mechanic, I was absolutely stumped. But then I did some googling and found a very handy YouTube video that did all the work for me. Just kidding, there's a lot more work to be done. But with a little plagiarism out of the way, I now have a fully physical rope. This rope is fairly chaotic in nature though, so when the player attaches to it, there really is no telling how it will react. Therefore, I decided to scrap it mostly, and develop a more or less predictable rope with the help of hinge joints. This works by treating the rope as a solid object that can rotate on one axis, kind of like a door. Then I can add an anchor at the bottom of the solid rope, so the player has a place to hook onto. I can even add a little attachment at the end for the physical rope from earlier to attach to, to give the whole design a more believable feel. With this design, the player can attach to the anchor and swing left and right, and they'll never have the rope buckle in on them. Easier said than done, of course, but after a few failed attempts, I finally got it working. Fantastic. This obviously isn't how actual ropes behave, but sacrifices have to be made for the sake of gameplay. Now I have to make some changes so the player can jump on the rope at any location and the rope adjusts its proportions to compensate. With that done, I can also add the ability for the player to slide up and down the rope to give them a better boost to their jump. This is done by modifying the ratio of physical rope to rigid rope every time the player slides. I just have to be sure that the sum of the lengths of both ropes adds up to the total predefined rope length. One last thing I have to implement is the ability to leave the rope. So when the player releases the spacebar, he lets go and lets his momentum carry him to the next rope. The challenge lies in getting the rope to look natural when the player leaves. Since the rope is made up of two components, I have to add a way to fuse them both into one physical rope after the player leaves. I did this by generating a physical rope at the length of the solid rope and with the same angle. Then I just added the tail end to the newly generated bit and we're done.